things are starting to really get crazy. I mean, even I can't believe what's happening. We've had the London Guardian, Time Magazine, Newsweek, the New York Times, hundreds of other establishment publications, TV networks, CNN, all calling me saying, are you causing the violence in America? No, I'm not causing the violence in America. What's causing the people of this country to get upset and angry is articles like this out of Business Week. Failed banks may get pension fund backing as FDIC seeks cash. And it says federal regulators are basically pressuring private and public pension funds. The pension funds of police, the pension funds of unions, firefighters, teachers, to invest to prop up failed banks. That's the type of news that I cover on my syndicated radio show and at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Or when it comes out in mainstream news that the Mumbai attacks were run by a U.S. government agent and it's in a federal affidavit, I cover it. Or when the controlled media on the left and the right are not talking about how insurance companies actually wrote the health care bill and that it cuts Medicare and Medicaid and makes people buy insurance from the insurance companies and that it's true fascism, the left won't talk about that and the right won't talk about that. I will. I will point out that it's a bailout to the insurance companies, a robbery. And that's why the radio show and the websites are so popular, because it's just common sense. We don't work for the left. We don't work for the right. We work for the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and freedom. Now, that said, I want to tell Fox News something. I don't want to be your enemy. I know you've got a lot of federal operatives working for you. I know Glenn Beck is there to co-opt the Tea Parties with Sarah Palin and uh, basically control populism and, and redirect it into the Republican Party. But I can't put up with this anymore, Fox News. Two stories yesterday from Fox News in the terrorism section. This is where the news about terrorism is, implying that my website is supporting and promoting threats against the IRS, threats against the government, you name it. And they craftily talk about articles on my website and then mention that people in the articles, but not in the articles, it's actually in the comments, are talking about violence against the IRS, violence against the government, violence against Obama. And what's important here, the key here is, in one of the Fox News articles in the terrorism section, Fox News says they were on Infowars.com and that they saw threats to the government so that they called Homeland Security. In fact, that's in this article, Military Husband Probe for Allegedly Posting Threats on Radical Website. And then it says, the action was taken after FoxNews.com inquired about the online comment. And there's another article here. Feds investigate death threats to IRS employees after health bill approved. These were both on March 30th. Two separate articles. I spent five minutes this morning when I saw these stories going to Fox Nation and their other websites that have comments, and there was talk about killing people, about the Marines attacking the government, about killing Obama. Another Fox pundit was making jokes about killing Obama on Fox TV. We have that video posted in this article by Paul Joseph Watson at PrisonPlanet.com. Fox News calls for Obama to be killed, killed, while framing Alex Jones for instigating violence. We have always spoken out against violence. And we have the Southern Poverty Law Center, we have the ADL, we have all these other organizations saying that I'm calling for killing police and that I'm causing police to be killed. We've seen this talking point in the last year with no evidence. We've always called for nonviolence, like Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King talked about. So they're clearly trying to propagandize and manipulate police and the IRS and others to audit us, to arrest us. We've had the Secret Service here repeatedly in the last few months. We've had the FBI here. We're getting subpoenas over this. All because Fox News and others, and we now discovered Fox has been doing this for several months, are culling through hundreds of thousands of comments. We get several million visitors per website a week and calling the police on us. And then we go to Fox Nation and there is stuff many times more violent and actual threats against the president and that's all being ignored. So this is so hypocritical. 
Fox News sees Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and what I do on the radio as a threat because they're posing as the opposition of the New World Order. They're posing as the alternative media. They have more viewers than all the major cable news channels combined. And I'm this separate radio talk show host and filmmaker uh, who maybe has one-tenth maybe other viewers and listenership, but I am the greatest threat to what they're doing. And so they're coming after me. Fox News, I know a bunch of you working there are psychopaths and sociopaths, but I'm a human being. I have a family. I'm not calling the FBI and Homeland Security on you. I'm not even asking my viewers right now and my listeners to go file criminal complaints and reports against you for what's on your websites. You're not guilty for commenters on Fox Nation calling for the death of the president or the death of illegal aliens. You are somewhat guilty for your pundits joking about killing Obama uh, and tying it into Osama bin Laden. Uh, I mean, that is over the top. And so you are there inciting all this violence and then blaming me. That is wrong. You can't do this. Uh, it's wrong. And I'm just sick of Glenn Beck attacking Ron Paul over the years. I'm sick of you demonizing true patriots, true conservatives, true libertarians. We broke the Mayak report. We broke the Homeland Security report where the federal government's main target is conservatives and libertarians in this country. And I know you're upset about that. I know that you want to pose as a twisted form of Alex Jones and Ron Paul, but it's not going to work. And I'm here to tell you that the people are seeing through what you're doing. We're calling for none of this. We're decrying it. We're exposing the fact that this militia was infiltrated by feds and that they provocateured them. We're exposing that the Mumbai massacre was run by a U.S. federal agent. We're exposing the fact that mainstream media pushed the hoaxes of WMDs in Iraq and now Iran. We're trying to save our country. And what are you doing? You're trying to sick the IRS and the FBI and Homeland Security on us. You are more than hypocrites. And you're trying to destroy Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, and the work that I do. And you're putting my family in danger. And everyone needs to understand that what you're doing is terroristic and criminal and stinks to high heaven as a Carl Rovian type trick. Every publication from The Guardian to Newsweek to The New York Times to Fox News and CNN are lying about me saying I'm calling for violence. They're doing that because I'm exposing that the government and the DNC and others are staging these attacks against their own facilities. I mean, I hold up on air that back in 2008, Democratic Party operatives were caught attacking their own Democratic Party uh, offices in Denver. I'm showing people that both parties are controlled, and that's why I'm the number one enemy of these individuals. And yes, it's creepy, but it's not going to make me stop what I'm doing. It's only going to make me work harder to expose what you're doing with documentary films that are coming out in the month of April, like Invisible Empire, A New World Order Defined. This film exposes, in their own words, government narcotics trafficking, government white slavery trafficking, the, 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 the system setting up world government, the system assassinating people uh, that expose their agenda. This film by Jason Burmis is amazing. It's over two hours long. And anyone who's doubting that world government exists or that it is authoritarian and oppressive needs to order the DVD at Infowars.com and make copies of it and show it to everyone they know. And a second film is coming out. I've never released two films in one month. And I, of course, directed it, Police State for the Rise of FEMA. It's over two hours long. It proves the FEMA camps are real from government testimony and documents and video of the FEMA camps. It shows the executive orders. It shows the continuity of government system. It documents how private mercenaries are being used in the United States. It shows police using sound cannons and police dogs on peaceful demonstrators, the G20. It covers it all. And it shows how Glenn Beck has been lying about the existence of FEMA camps using straw men arguments. Both of these films are available right now on DVD at Infowars.com. They're also premiering. April 15th at PrisonPlanet.tv. And I want to invite everybody, encourage everybody to get involved in the second American revolution or restoration peacefully of our republic of these offshore corporate interests that have bought and paid for the left and the right. 
That's why the system's scared, because we understand how they operate. We have their number. We know who they are. We know how to stop them and save our republic. The Federal Reserve is openly saying they're getting ready to take your pension funds. This is in Bloomberg. This is in World Net Daily. This is in the Associated Press. And all I am is an American patriot standing up and telling the truth. So again, please get the word out about Fox News and others trying to frame us for violence. Please get the word out about these two new documentary films coming out in the month of April. Please get the word out about Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. There's a reason these sites are being attacked. It's because they're effective and they tell the truth. Justice be done, may the heavens fall. And as Mark Twain said in the beginning, a patriot is a scarce man, hated and feared and scorned. But in time when his cause succeed, the timid join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot.